All right, good morning, Iowa. There will be a new immersive opera titled The Cadence of Life at Drake University in the Anderson Galleries on Thursday. So this is an opportunity to just use multiple senses to experience an opera in a different way. So this morning I'm joined with the director of the opera, Isaiah Feakin, and the composer, Nathan Felix. You guys uh, are excited for this uh, to, to kick off, pretty much. Absolutely thrilled. Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, six to eight months in the working, so here, here we are. Yeah, and you guys are known for presenting classical music in unconventional spaces. Can you talk about what people can expect when they come to this opera? Sure, I specialize in immersive operas, which means the opera pops up, much like a flash mob, yeah. around the audience, and it moves and weaves through the gallery spaces, into the lobby, into the, you know, maybe outside a little bit, and the yeah. audience is encouraged to follow along. And that's cool. And so for, for people coming and experiencing that, uh, what is this opera about? So this opera is about two families. Um, they are on the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of one is poor, one is rich. And, you know, one, someone within the family, you know, takes a liking to another. Yeah. And, you know, the family sort of a, a feud, let's put it yeah. that way. And what makes uh, an immersive opera like this uh, so unique? What would you say uh, the, the audience can get out of this? Opera sometimes has a reputation, I think an unfortunate reputation of being a bit stuffy. We're yeah. sitting in our very nice clothes in one spot for sometimes three or four hours at a time. Yeah. What an immersive opera does first is it gets you out of the seat. It gets you moving through a space. Yeah which not only encourages you to see the performers from different views to get different yeah. angles on the action, but also to hear how each space is going to reverberate differently. Yeah. The one, one scene, uh, the winds may be in a complete different corner of the room, the piano may be in the center, and yeah. each audience member is going to get a different experience yeah. based upon where they are in the space and what space they're in while they're taking yeah. the work. So definitely like a unique approach to an opera. We're gonna actually take a snippet uh, here and listen in just so that our viewers can kind of understand what you guys are talking about here. Just let me give you some advice. Stay on the right side. On the right. All right, so, uh, so we can expect uh, something similar to that at the experience. Uh, where can people get more information? How can they find out uh, when uh, to come out and, and support and, and get a feel for this? So, you, oh, so so you can always go to the Anderson Art Gallery okay. website to see uh, more Im information about Freehand, which is the yeah. exhibition. Also, if uh, if you look online, you can find the link to the Eventbrite. It's by reservation. There is no uh, ticket cost, but it's by reservation only. Okay. And then, of course, you can always go to um, the Drake Music School website yeah. to see not only this event, but also if someone's unable to make it, we have a lot of other really wonderful offerings yeah. this season. All right. So October fifth, so this Thursday at seven p.m. I love that admission is free gives people a chance to experience something unique right here in Des Moines so uh, that's very very cool and thank you guys so much for joining us this morning yeah. I know you don't you say you normally don't wake up this early so I appreciate <laughs> you guys getting up and joining us this morning Our pleasure. all right Nathan and Isaiah uh, go ahead and check out the opera this Thursday and, and support them all right we'll be right back after this break